Hi girls, it's Wednesday and I just failed an exam. And if I had editing software and the intro music, the intro music would be playing right now. But I don't and I haven't. So let's just move on from that. And before I forget, today I will tell you the offer of the day first and that is Milan Kundra. He is a Czech author who spent most of his life in France on account of Russia invading the Czech Republic and all that messy stuff there. Anyway, uh, and he wrote a novel called um, The Unbearable Lightness of Being, which is mainly to do with philosophy, a bit to do with politics and against communism and that kind of thing. But yeah, um, it's really good and it's basically about how our actions are meaningless because they only occur one time and then are forgotten. Which is slightly depressing, but you know, makes you think. And um, yeah, I, I think you should definitely read his stuff. And I'm gonna on my uh, 50 books list. I'm gonna read this book, which I just hold up called Ignorance. It's on my 50 book list. Uh, I don't know if any of you guys are doing the book challenge this year, but um, if you are, then we can have like progress reports and stuff. Uh, so far, I've read like three books. I'm quite proud. So yeah. Uh, and uh, I had, before I forget, Suki, I totally went to see her cut at the pictures this weekend and it was awesome and here is my ticket and yeah, it was a really awesome thing. Um, I thought it was pretty close to the book but I haven't read the book in a while so I could be wrong because I read it in the summer but yeah, it was a really good film um, but definitely worth seeing and I had a challenge from you uh, to write a poem about a rock star. I don't know if you know this but Carol Ann Duffy did this poem called Elvis's Twin Sister, which um, is his twin sister is a nun, and it's quite similar sort of theme to this. I don't know if you knew about that and based it on that, or it's just the common giving. But I, I'm going to read the poem in American accent, and in no way am I taking the piss out of American people. American people are awesome, but um, yes, feel free to laugh at my American accent. Okay. Said, didn't you know, honey bun? Didn't you know I like to have fun? I swing my hips in time whenever they let me shine. Sing out those words on my brother, or you, my holy mother. I say, didn't you know, sweetie pie, about the music I make, my oh my. You know I praise the Lord on the morn, quietly tend to the Lord. I make planks for the homeless, make phone calls to the phoneless, because I got the number of the father. See, I got, so I got into this habit. I can't seem to kick, scream, or stab it. You know, I still dig your gob, but hell, this ain't half up. I want to be a rock star nun. <laughs> Wouldn't that be fun? So yes, that is my rock star nun poem from last week. And I got another challenge from Kate to write about my ambrosia, which I understand is to do with food. So yes, this, this uh, I basically wrote sort of a second person narrative, reasonably short on that, because I uh, didn't want to do two poems in one video. So this is it. The first thing my eye was drawn to in the room was the enormous waterfall raging violently, the most beautiful, rich, deep brown. The river sl slid along almost lazily until it reached that point. It had a thick, creamy texture to it that seduced you into approaching. But as you did, you'd noticed the rest of the room. The very ground that you walked on was composed of emerald green licorice grass, sticky and chewy, that seemed to grow from the soft, dodgy mud. All around were great flowers of fantastical colours, the brightest reds, the deepest greens and the most garish oranges. The hard shells concealed thousands of sweet white sherbet running through the core. There were trees that grew in candy cane, candy cane stripes, twisted and distorted until the very ends of the branches were the canes themselves. Hundreds of little marshmallow mushrooms grew in pastel colours around the edges of the trees. The multitude of sweetness pressuring you to eat, eat, eat. So yes, my ambrosia is, as you Americans say, candy. So. Uh, yeah, that, that's that's pretty much it. And also, Suki, I loved your poem. That, that, that challenge that I set you was pretty cool. And Sarah, I will see you tomorrow.